Hey everyone, welcome to the third lesson on HTTP requests. In the previous lesson, you have learned the fundamentals of APIs and API endpoints. In this lesson, you will learn how to make a request to an API inside Integromat and how to use the data retrieved inside your scenario. For this example, let's make a request to the news API introduced in the last lesson and pass the data retrieved to a Google Sheet. For every news headline, a new row will be created in the spreadsheet using the Google Sheets Add a Row module. As you can see on the News API website, there are many URLs with different endpoints, which you can customize depending on the data you want to retrieve. For this demonstration, let's make a request in order to obtain the latest business news in the United States with US set as the country and business set as the category. In order to define these parameters in the scenario before making the request to the API, let's use a Google Sheet. As you can see, this spreadsheet is split up into two sheets. The first sheet contains the parameters that the request URL should contain, and the second sheet is where the retrieved news headlines will be stored. Let's enter US under the country field and business under the category field. In order to retrieve this data in a scenario and be able to pass it to the HTTP request, a Google Sheet search rows module is required. When the scenario executes, this module searches the parameter sheet and retrieves the first row of data by default since no other filtering options have been specified. Now, let's set up the HTTP request app, which makes the request to the API. The first thing you have to enter is the URL you want to make a request to. Let's copy this exact URL from the News API website and paste it in the URL field. You can leave the URL as it is if you are planning on making an API request with the exact same parameters every time. However, flexibility is always good, so let's make this URL dynamic by mapping the parameters based on the data obtained from the Google Sheet. In the country parameter, let's map the country element retrieved from the Google Sheet, and for the category parameter, let's map the category element from the Google Sheet. Great, this is now a dynamic URL. This means that every time this scenario executes, it retrieves the values in the Google Sheet and applies them to the URL. You can always change these values by changing the data in the Google Sheet and therefore obtain different types of data from the API. One more thing to note is that the URL contains an API key at the end. As mentioned in the last video, the News API website requires you to have an account in order to be able to make requests. Once an account is created, you obtain a unique API key like this one, which you need to attach as a parameter to all your requests. In this case, the API key was automatically added to the URL. The next option to select is the request method. As you can see on the news API website, all the requests that can be made to this API are of type get. This is because you are always trying to retrieve data. Therefore, let's select get as the request method. Now, let's introduce the query string option. This option allows you to split up the API endpoint into smaller, more readable parts. As you can see, the API endpoint in this example is split up into three parameters country, category, and API key. Let's delete it and recreate it using the query string option. The first parameter is the country, so let's type country as the name and map the Google Sheet data field as the value. Let's add the other two parameters in the same way. Great, everything now looks much more organized, even though the functionality is still the same. The last option that is very important to check when making a request to an API is the parse response option here. This will automatically convert the data obtained from the API call to a more Integromat friendly format that can be mapped to subsequent modules. Now, it is a good idea to run the first two modules at this point in order to make sure that everything works as expected, as well as retrieve some sample data that can be mapped to the Google Sheet module at the end. Let's save the scenario, right-click on the HTTP app, and run it once. The scenario executed successfully. Let's take a look at the output. As you can see, the output data has been parsed and has been split into articles where each article is a collection with all the information associated with it. This data can now be mapped in another module. 
Now it's time to set up the fourth and final module of this scenario in order to organize and display the retrieved data in the Google Sheet. Before doing that though, it is important to iterate the array of articles that the HTTP app outputs in order to be able to create a new role in the spreadsheet for every article retrieved. To do that, simply add the articles array as a value of the iterator module. Great. Now in the Google Sheets add a role module, the sheet selected this time is news headlines. As you can see, the sheet contains all the different fields of data that each retrieved article has. The first field is country. The data for this field will be mapped from the Google Sheet module in this scenario. Same for category. Now for the source, let's select the source name from the data of the HTTP module under the articles array. For the author field, select author and so on. So now let's go ahead and save the scenario and execute it again. As you can see, the scenario was executed successfully and the Google Sheet now contains a list of all the articles retrieved from the API request. Now, as a final test, let's go to the parameter sheet and change the category to technology. Let's execute the scenario one last time and see if this will retrieve all the latest technology news in the US. Perfect. The scenario was executed successfully and the list of articles on this spreadsheet has been extended with more articles, this time in the technology category. So to recap, you can make an API URL dynamic by mapping an element from another module to the parameters of the API endpoint. You can use the query string feature inside the HTTP make a request module in order to make the API parameters more readable, easier to edit and map data to. Parsing the HTTP response is always helpful since it allows you to easily map the data in the HTTP output to subsequent modules. And this concludes the lesson on the HTTP get request. In the next lesson, you will learn how to perform post requests using the HTTP app. See you there.